Have you ever been so embarrassed? I'm talking about the kind of embarrassment that you would dig a hole if you could, climb down and put the shutters on and hide for eternity. I have a couple of those, but I wouldn't dare share them because if I did, I might get embarrassed all over again. But there's this one situation where I feel okay to share. My son, about 15 years ago, he was three years old and we went to Rite Aid and he saw a truck that he just had to have. And me, being the logical parent, was like, well, you have a whole bunch of toys at home. I mean, Santa must have given me every gift possible. But he decided that that moment in that store with that truck, he must have right then and there. And I wouldn't let up. So he said, okay, well, either he gave me the toy or else. He didn't say all of that, but that's how he behaved. He hollered, he screamed, he bellowed, he cried. As a new mom that I was, I literally wanted to dig a hole and hide for eternity. Embarrassment. I'm never forget, gonna forget. That embarrassment, I'm never going to forget. But you know, there's an, another type of embarrassment that I just learned about recently. It's the embarrassment that happens when we say something can't be done and then we watch someone else do the very thing that we say could not be done. Mm, that's a quote by somebody. I don't know who. You know why that happens? That happens when we do not engage in possibility thinking. When we don't engage in possibility thinking, here's what happens. A list of things that could happen, but here's a few. We suppress our potential and our possibility. We think in molehill size versus mountainous size. We tend to think that it could happen to everybody else, but not all. We tend to give up because, well, it's not happening fast enough and I don't have the right education, right background, the right pedigree. All those things are symptoms or the results or the consequence of not engaging in this very critical thinking skill. And I implore you as we venture into 2024 that you make a decision to take on this thinking skill, to make it your friend. Because one of the downfalls of making New Year's resolution is that once the two weeks into the new year comes and we falter as we all do and we break the resolution, we tend to give up as if we can't still possibly rewrite the script and still reach our goals. But if we know and embrace possibility thinking, no longer we will we be thrown off course because we happen to break our New Year's resolution? I again implore you to grab a hold possibility thinking. It is a part of the thinking framework, which I've been talking about for weeks. Well, possibility thinking is a thinking skill you cannot afford to sleep on. Go ahead, click the link and you learn about our platform, It Speaks. And do take the DISC assessment test where you can know you to grow you in 2024. Go ahead, click the link. Your possibility is waiting on you. Merry Christmas.